5 Money Personality Types Which one are you? Your attitude toward money, like practically everything else in life, is primarily determined by your personality. But have you given any thought to how your financial conduct and the impact it has on your bottom line? The first step in determining how to spend, save, and invest is to recognize your unique financial personality. The 5 Money Personality Types Money-related personality traits can be divided into various categories. Numerous approaches have been used to investigate this topic, and many people can relate to various aspects of these money personality profiles. Finding the type that most closely resembles your behavior is crucial. Big spenders, savers, shoppers, debtors, and investors are the main types. Big spenders. Big spenders enjoy new technology, fancy cars, and designer clothes. Those who have a spending personality type tend to be trendy and always looking to make a statement, not often bargain shoppers. Frequently, this translates to a desire for the most advanced smartphone, the largest 4K television, and a stunning house. Big spenders are the Joneses when it comes to keeping up with the Joneses. They don't worry about debt, feel comfortable spending money, and frequently take significant chances when investing. Savers. Big spenders are the complete opposite of savers. They rarely use credit cards for purchases, turn off the lights when leaving the room, swiftly shut the refrigerator door to maintain the cold, go shopping only when absolutely essential, etc. They are frequently debt-free and could be characterized as cheapskate. Savings are not concerned with keeping up with the latest fashions, and seeing the interest on a bank statement gives them more pleasure than buying something new. By their very nature, savers are cautious and don't take significant risks with their money. Shoppers. Spending money gives consumers a lot of emotional joy. Even if they are buying things they don't need, they can't help but spend money. Usually, they are conscious of their addiction and even worried about the debt it causes. They search for deals and are pleased when they do. Shoppers' investment preferences vary. Some people frequently contribute through 401k plans and may even invest a share of any unanticipated windfalls, while others believe they will eventually start investing. When it comes to managing one's finances, Money personality traits are never universal and it's possible for people to have features that overlap. Debtors. Debtors don't shop to amuse themselves or to feel better about themselves, and they don't try to make a statement with their purchases. They simply don't spend much time considering their finances, therefore they don't keep track of their spending or where they spend their money. Debtors typically spend more money than they make, have high debt levels, and do not give investment any care. Similar to this, they frequently overlook utilizing the corporate match in their 401k plans. Investors. Investors are mindful of their financial situation. They are aware of their financial situations and make an effort to invest their money. Investors frequently look forward to a time when passive assets will generate enough income to pay all of their expenses, regardless of their current financial situation. They make thoughtful decisions that guide their behavior, and their investments demonstrate the necessity to assume some risk in order to achieve their objectives. Make these changes to your money personality. It's time to look at what you can do to make the most of what you have once you've decided which of these personality types best suits you and have given money some attention. Making minor adjustments can frequently have a large impact. Spenders. Shop a little less, save a little more. If you enjoy spending money, it's likely that you will continue to do so, but you should look for long-term value rather than just instant gratification. Before you spend money on something pricier or more fashionable, consider how much it will matter to you in a year. Skip it if the response is, not much. You can try to keep your spending to goods you'll truly utilize in this way. You have another chance to think long-term when you focus your energies on saving. Instead of focusing on high-risk, quick-win events, seek for gradual rewards. If you really want to push yourself, think about the advantages of reducing your goals. Savers. Use moderation. Ben Franklin once advised, moderation in all things, which is excellent counsel for a saver. Don't sacrifice your enjoyment of life in order to save a few dollars. Improve your savings efforts as well. It is insufficient to pinch pennies. Although avoiding risk is every investor's top priority, the secret to successful investing is minimizing risk while maximizing profit. Shoppers. Don't spend money that you don't have. Controlling your credit cards is a crucial step for shopping. Think carefully before you buy, especially if you'll need a credit card to make the purchase because unchecked credit card interest can wreak havoc on your budget. Put all of your energy on saving the money you already have. 
study the guiding principles of effective saving strategies, then try to apply some of them to your own. If you find that you spend to make up for other aspects of your life that you feel are lacking, consider what they may be and attempt to improve them. Debtors. Plan your finances and start investing. If you owe money, you should organize your finances and create a plan before you start investing. Getting assistance is generally a smart idea because you might not be able to do it on your own. Making the option of who will manage your finances is crucial, so pick your financial advisor wisely. Investors. Keep up the good work. Congratulations. You're doing really well financially, congrats. Keep doing what you're doing and never stop learning. Even while you might not be able to change your money personality, you can accept it and deal with the problems it causes financially. Money management requires self-awareness. By understanding where you are, you may change your behavior to more effectively accomplish your financial and life goals.